Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Data Vids. And today we're going to have an extremely short video that's straight to the point. We're going to cover Git cherry picking, but first Git merging, how to resolve conflicts using Visual Studio. And well, let's jump right into it. Please subscribe if you like it. Thanks. I can't zoom in a whole lot. I know a lot of you guys keep asking me to zoom in, but because we're not looking at code, we're just looking at the editor. There's not a lot of zoom in I can do, but I will as soon as it's possible. Okay. So if you take a quick peek at this, We've got here two local branches, two local Git branches that have been checked out from the origin and are sitting locally. So I can merge them from another local branch or cherry pick from certain commits from another local branch, or I can do it from the cloud and it's not going to be any different. All right. So if I, I've checked out this one, that's called 1791, which is just some arbitrary number of a product backlog item. Okay. So if I right click on another branch, I can now do merge from that branch into the branch that I currently have checked out. So I'm going to do that. We'll get into cherry picking next. This one's just a regular merge. So as you can see now on the right side of the screen, and I'll drag that over a little bit here, we've got, um, we've got both a list of unmerged changes where there were conflicts and we've got a list of staged changes. Now, if yours doesn't look like that after doing a merge, then you've probably got a setting turned on that I don't recommend. So go up to Git and then go down to settings. Now you're gonna look for a checkbox that you may have checked over here that says um, commit changes after merge by default. I recommend that you uncheck that. That allows these stage changes to show up here so it shows what's being automatically merged. You can right click on those and you can do compare with unmodified. And I know a lot of you are on this video because you want to see the merge conflicts. We're doing that in just a second. But as you can see here, it just threw this method in there because there was no conflict. In other words, this file wasn't modified by the other branch. So if the file is only modified in one branch, it just comes right over. I'm going to close that out. Up here in this top unmerged changes, this is the most interesting part, the merge conflicts, right? You can right click that and you have several choices that you can make here. You can do take incoming from that product backlog item 1621. That means that I'm not even going to look at it. I'm just going to take all the changes that were made on that branch even if it totally messes up changes that were made on my branch. Or I can do the opposite and say, we're merging these, but with this particular file, I want everything that's in my current branch. I want nothing in the branch that I'm merging into it. But what's most commonly going to happen is you're going to click this top choice here, merge. You can also compare them, but when you compare them, you're not able to really make a lot of changes. You're just kind of looking at what's different. It's kind of not that useful. Instead, click on merge at the top. You can compare while you're merging, okay? So this is the this is the meat and potatoes, the most important part of this video. If you take anything away from it, it's how to use what's on the screen right now. So in the top left, you've got your incoming branch. On the top right, you've got the current branch that you're merging into, right? And on the bottom, you got the results. This is what it's gonna look like when you're done. Minus this crazy red X grid over here, right? So um, there's two sets of arrows. The top set of arrows allows you to just go through all the changes in the file, but that includes things that are kind of already merged or there, it doesn't feel like there's a conflict because it's a totally different part of it. So you're not gonna really need those. Focus on these conflicts here. That's what you'll need most of the time. As you can see, it says one conflict because it's one little section here. Now I can choose the left, which will keep only what's coming in from the incoming, or I could choose the right to keep only what's in my source, or I could click both and it puts one on top of the other in the results down here. Now, no matter what choice you make of those I just mentioned, you can then modify the results. So you could say, yes, I want them both, but because this address two is here, I would like to remove, um, you know, address line here. And you can delete that here and make changes right then and there whilst you're merging. Once you're 
comfortable with this result set here in the bottom, you will click Accept Merge here in the top middle. That will move it into the stage changes. And as you can see, since that was the last file that was in the stage changes, there's no more files showing up in the conflicts area. So now you can go ahead and put a message. Um, I merged this because uh, blah, 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 right? Go ahead and click commit staged and everything that was staged will then go into your outgoing commits along with the other outgoing commits that you may have. In this case, I guess I had five other ones and then click that up arrow to push it to the origin. All right, let's take a quick peek now at cherry picking. So what cherry picking is, is you're gonna go and take a look at another branch than the one that you're in and you're gonna take one of the commits from that branch and bring it into your branch. It doesn't have to be a commit that's in order. In fact, most of the time, cherry picking is not taking a branch that's in order, right? It's not one that was just done. Otherwise, you would just be doing a merge, right? You might be doing a pull request to accommodate approvals on that merge, to pull those changes into your branch, but you wouldn't be doing a cherry pick in that situation. So let's say I'm in this product backlog item 17, 91 and there's something that was changed in 1621 that you want to bring into your branch i'll give you a scenario let's say you um, are a bank software company and you've got one bank that you've got a completely separate branch that you maintain than another branch and then you've got your your primary features branch where you develop new features well they may not be due to get the new set of features because the bank may not have agreed to it for another six months but there's one feature that they can't live without, they need it now, and you're gonna pull it down from a newer version of your kind of feature branch to the, the whatever version of their implementation that they're on. I, I think that, that could work. So this is kind of a steady line here if you look at the local history um, in the 1791. If I look at 1621, it's very much the same, um, but 1791 is when we got checked out. So I'm gonna go to 1621, and let's say we wanted to pull in something that wasn't in the other. I'd right click on it, on that specific commit or this specific commit, whichever one it is, and I'd choose cherry pick. Now in this case, cherry pick, you know, that, that commit was already in both branches and Visual Studio is smart enough to figure that out. So I'm gonna pause the, pause the recording here and I'm gonna go create some changes in another branch and commit it. And then I'm gonna come back here and cherry pick it. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. I've made a couple more uh, commits to 1791, as you can see. And then if you look at 1621, in fact, you always want to do a fetch to get the latest. So go ahead and do a fetch. Um, you know, you could do a pull if you're in that branch and you've already fetched, you see those incoming commits. But just doing a fetch will oftentimes identify what's in that branch for Visual Studio. So that's really all you have to do most of the time. So you can see there's a couple new commits in each of these. So let's say I wanted to um, cherry pick this one. If I was gonna just take this branch, this commit, as well as all these other ones, I would just do a merge. But if I just wanted one in particular, I'm just gonna right click it and do cherry pick. Okay? So I did a cherry pick and it's identified that there's conflicts. Now this looks just like merging, doesn't it? And guess what? You're gonna handle it the exact same way. Right click, keep target, keep source, Compare them if you just want to look at their differences or click merge if you want to go ahead and get into it. Um, I could say, well, I like that this one's already selected, but I can also turn it off, turn it on. As you can see, it changes the result set down here. Uh, let's say I want to keep this one. However, I want to append a B onto the end of it. And there are no more conflicts because I saw them all on the screen here, but normally use those arrows to go through them. And now I can click accept merge and there it is there. Um, so now it's been moved to stage changes and we'll wrap it up by clicking continue there and pushing it out to the origin. Well, that's it. This needed to be a shorter video because I only wanted to cover cherry pick and merge, but hopefully this has kind of popped up a few ideas that you might have that you can kind of throw my way about what you'd like to see next, maybe something on a similar topic. Maybe you wanna see some command line Git or some other Visual Studio tools, I'd be happy to share that with you. Or if there's some more C-sharp or SQL tricks, I'm happy to share that as well. So let me know, 
in the comments below, and we'll see what we can do. Thank you. Bye.